and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some ephemeral mid-range to kick off our stream today. We have a brand new patch. Patch 1.2 is now live as we speak. And so we got five decks that are all affected by the patch. We have two Hecarim donation decks to play. Um, and so I'll start, I'll play those first and fifth. Those will be um, kind of bookending the two. Um, hey, all right, a slot bot deck. Donation deck from Skya. Okay, cool. I will build a slot bot deck. Absolutely. Um, I was already planning on doing that uh, for Monday, actually, <laughs> but now I'll, I will do that earlier. Um, all right, but besides our Hecarim decks, we're going to have a, a new Vladimir deck. We're going to replay the Shen Barrier deck that we played just two days ago, but it looked really good two days ago, and now Shen's buffed. Um, so let's try it again. You know, let's run that deck back. So we'll do that. And then also I'm going to play some Twisted Ezreal. Um, as I talked about in the uh, patch, note, patch Notes discussion that we did, that's kind of hard to say back to back, that we did yesterday, um, I think that Ezreal really gained a lot. And so I want to try out, um, and you know, Bilgewater didn't really lose anything. So let's, let's retry Twisted Ezreal. So we'll do that as well. All right, but let's start with uh, this ephemeral mid-range. We are going to be um, having, you know, like, so we're an ephemeral deck, but we're not just all aggro. Like, we have some good interaction. We have Deny, Will of Ionia, Grasp, Withering Whale. You know, so we're going to be doing that kind of stuff. But we, we do have Zed. We do have Hecarim. Hecarim is now a 5-5. Five five. So we'll be trying that out. So we have three Hecarims. We have a Rekindler. We have a Dawn and Dusk that could be amazing on a Hecarim. We even have a couple of Harrowings at the top end. So our late game is looking really good. Um, and then we have the removal. So if we have a good late game, we got good removal. We can also get early pressure with Shark Chariots and Zed, depending on our draw and depending on the matchup. Um, even against Aggro, we still have the Dark Water Scourge Deathmark combo. So we got a lot of stuff to like. So let's give it a try. Let's play some Ephemeral Midrange. We're going to go play um, five games over in Ranked. I, for, for the, uh, let's see, we have to go to ranked. There we go. For the patch, what I did is, uh, give me Ionia. I exited, I exited out and then re-entered and then it had the patch download. It didn't, it didn't just like auto download. So I recommend if, if you're, if you don't have the patch live, I recommend exiting out and re-entering. Whoa, what's up Chandler? Hey cutie, what's up Chandler? Thanks for keeping your sub going. 38 amazing months. You are wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna keep well let's see, what are we playing against? Swain Sejuani. We're gonna just keep one hapless aristocrat and mulligan these other two cards. Right, that looks better. Yeah, it'll auto download if, if you try to enter the game, but if, if you're already in client, it may not auto download, so you may need to leave the client and then re enter and then it will download. I'll try anyone one. Oh man, yeah, Chandler, definitely try it out. It's it's on uh, mobile now as well, like the mobile's really slick if you just wanna like play on your phone. I love a taste it of the is action. Pretty awesome. Let's see. Without a sound. Could see going with Shadow Assassin first. But we don't really have protection like we don't really have protection spells in our deck, so it's not like I'm gonna be able to like protect Zed. So I think it's worth it just to play Zed. Because it's not like it's not like if I wait till next turn, I play Zed, I get to attack immediately with Zed. They would still have the ability to respond as well. For the glory of Noxus. Seize control. Stop following me. 
I think I want to use this combo on one of their champions. Like, Swain and Sejuani are both great champions. Is that all? Route's closed. I want to use that combo for on one of the on one of them. Hmm. That really hurt. I should have vile feasted that when I had the chance. How about another round? Please, I have connections. Should have piece of that during combat. <laughs> Gotta start playing around kindly tavern keeper these days. New card to play around. yourself to the shadows <laughs> all right we are at nine I'm gonna go and play this you own what you take. Follow close to silence. <laughs> My first matchup burns. I guess it's not going anywhere. Yeah, I mean it's still it's still something that people have on their account and yeah could play real easy, you know, could play right away and everything. Um, I do think deep decks are a little better now. Yes, I do. So we're going to be taking three, four, five at the beginning of the turn. some life gain here unfortunately I got nine mana I don't get to play both of those cards but I can play you know like a death mark and um, one of these Hmm. 
Alright, I think that's fine. So, let's still stay at four. Look what you... <sighs> Winter's claw strikes. We'll withering away all both of those. Gain three. For now, you know, like right now, we're doing okay. Order, sir. Bring forth our army. Still doing okay. We get like we'd have the ability to go super wide, you know, like dawn and dusk. On like, I think we had dawn and dusk on rekindler right now. How like we, we could get so many zeds and everything, like harrowing. if I'm supposed to shadow shift that or not. Forward. Wish that didn't have overwhelm. I think this is a good block. It's okay for me to have things die because I can still go really wide with like Dawn and Dusk harrowing. I'm still looking good there. So if I pick this back up, um, I think it's I think the shadow shift still dies if I if I pick it up. I don't I don't think that this damage goes through, does it? Like if I shadow shift this Zed, no, because then it's because it's not damaged or stunned, so it won't do damage. Never mind. Yeah, so because this has to be deal four to a unit if it's damaged or stun stunned. Well, now it won't be damaged or stunned. So there we go. Figured it out. Not. I think with a regular removal spell, like if that was like get excited, I think it would still kill it. I think. All right, that was a good game. The the death mark combo was critical like getting rid of sejuani uh that's a hard card to get rid of so the death mark combo got got rid of that and then of course getting rid of um the leviathan like those are two huge huge threats like things are really difficult to get rid of like you know five six overwhelm and a five eight overwhelm so taking those out with one three mana card that was big time
Misfortune at Gangplank. Alright, so we have the Death Mark Dark Water Scourge combo again, and I think we just keep Soul Shepherd. We'll mulligan our 7 drop. Yeah, Chandler, it, is, it really is a great game. Does death follow me or peace? Honestly, I probably shouldn't play Soul Shepherd. Be nothing left when I'm done. Do not fear death. Because if I don't play it next turn, we would bank the other two spell mana, so we'd have six mana, so we'd have Scourge plus Death Mark. But now, gosh, I just can't really play anything, so I can't play Scourge before Death Mark. So I have to just not do anything this turn. Fortune favors the bold. So, yep. Should have... Probably should not have played this Soul Shepherd last turn. Got a surprise. Awesome, perfect. Yeah, you got. Love you. Don't play it on your tablet. Yeah, definitely, Chandler. Give it a go. Six six dark water scourge. I don't want to go to attacks because if I go to attacks, they just don't block, and then I don't I don't have the ability to play this afterwards. So I have to do this first. But now also I don't want to go attack because now their misfortune's ephemeral, so it's gonna die at, at the end of turn anyway. So if I go to attacks, all they do is just block with that, so I lose three toughness on my dark water scourge to gain three life, and that's not worth it. So they just use that warning shot to help level up Gangplank. Usually you have better uses for that card, but... Him good. Hmm. Things are so big. Alright, let's go, Hecarim. I rarely forget and never forgive. So I will respect you, Captain. Break their ranks. Hecarim's like perfect against Powder Keg, right? Because um, you know, like the Overwhelm. Like, we don't have to worry about Hecarim dying. The Overwhelm. Alright, that Mega Rain hurts. But, gain a lot of life back. Ideally, we would have had them do, you know, three of the damage to me. Oh, wow. This one just hits both of those. Oh, they just had two perfect make it rains. Wow. Welcome to the tipsy house. Um I don't want to pass. Oh, 
without a sound. So I'm looking at attack like after the like if these two attack, there'll be five total ephemerals attacking. Yeah, they were choosing to make it rain. Sure felt like that. Alright, gangplank levels up. Has Your dad. Ooh, walking there. I've got meat bigger than you. Um. Let's go Grasp, so we can get two more Overwhelm damage through. Kindly Tavern Keeper is everywhere these days, I guess. Problem. This can be a problem. I don't, oh, I guess oh, that's still going to do two damage. Mm, I guess I'm just kind of dead, aren't I? Break their legs. Is gonna stay alive. Your ancestors await. Didn't you? Oh. I have a good plan for next turn. With, uh, you know, we'll be able to play Rekindler, Dawn, and Dusk. Explosives. If they don't mess up this Rekindler, Dawn, and Dusk, I think we win. I think Hecarim wins this. If these, oh, that thing does four damage, but slow speed. Uh, I guess I can just Dawn and Dusk the Hecarim. I wanted to Dawn and Dusk the Rekindler. Gross. As long as they don't kill me. I think this attack wins it for us. Pretty sure. Okay. 
So all, all of our ephemeral allies will have plus three from each one, so they'll have plus nine, plus zero. So these two have these two Hecarims would be 14 power attacking. This one would be five if I attack with it, but I, I don't think I even have to attack with this one. I think I can, I can just attack with the two ephemerals and then put four other ephemerals in play. Still all attacking. Yeah, I mean, they, they have a lot of things that could kill me. You know, like, all their things, their damage is doubled. Alright, they didn't have it, though. No, Dread, Dreadway copy spells. Like, that, that parlay they did was just doubled. That's why it did four damage instead of two. So, no, it, it damages spells also. I wonder if they I wonder if they changed the wording on that card. I guess I didn't really examine it. Because it is confusing. It doubles the damage of everything. GG, we beat uh Dreadway. Dreadway plus Gangplank. Yeah, it's really powerful, but that just shows how good uh Dawn and Dusk Hecarim is. Like that's pretty awesome. Just stayed alive. All right, Karma Ez. So, beat Karma Ez. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. The Grasp kills Karma and and Ezreal, but they may not play Car like they could play Karma or Ezreal like early, or they may just like sit back and wait and never play Karma or Ezreal until like the end of the game. Deny doesn't really save Zed. Like, they're gonna have, like, Mystic Shots, and, you know, like, they'll have a lot of removal. The Zed's gonna die. And spending four mana to counter, like, two mana Mystic Shot is kind of a losing battle. Really, what we want are Shark Chariots. That's the card that I want more than any other card, but no, we're just drawing more grass. Like, Withering Whale is useless. This was a really bad mulligan. I would just send all these... You know, like we kept the Zed. I would have just sent all of these cards back. It's not like Hapless Aristocrat kills them either. I would have mulliganed all six of these cards again. This is a poor mulligan for sure. Pledge yourself to the shadows. So I drew more of the same. Yeah, there's two Shark Chariots in the deck. So it's... Because there's a lot of matchup where Shark Chariot's not that good. But there's two of them in here. And this would have been a great Shark Chariot matchup. Yeah, it's possible that, like, right now, like, this metagame we don't need two Withering Whales. I mean, it's just, it's really unfortunate drawing both Withering Whales against this deck, but, yeah, maybe there's, you know, like, one of the removal spells, like Vile Feast, Withering Whale, stuff like that, uh, can probably go if there's going to be less burn. Probably be a Withering Whale. I think we could probably take one of those out. But we'll see, you know, we'll see. So far, it's, you know, it's been playing really well so far. Let's draw a Rekindler. I can't believe Zed hasn't died yet. I must get out of here. You cannot escape. Just, they're just an Ezreal deck that's playing zero removal? What's going on?
Yeah, exactly. Like, Brood Awakening, getting nerfed, also makes Withering Whale worse. We'll see. It's not like our deck's all control. We just have most of the control elements in our deck and our hand against the control deck, and that's unfortunate. Get him, Zed. Get him. Blocking Zed. It doesn't really matter which one you block if it, they're just going to go away. Neither. Wish I could cast Withering Will this turn and still have Deny available. I am the Shadow. My skill is unrivaled. All right, we got upgraded Zed. Leveled up. They don't have deny. Could be a really good card. Well, I guess the dragon forgets as well. Yeah, harrowing could be awesome. Time for a true display of skill. All right, I'm not gonna actually cast it. I'm gonna put it out here and just see. What... Okay, so yeah, we'd have, have Hecarim and then the Living Shadows. Still have mana for another deny. Ugh. Okay. So two denies are gone. So unlikely they're denying these things. Oh, they didn't have the mana for me. Mystic Shot anyway. Ugh. <laughs> well, 
I was thinking like clear the battlefield for the harrowing, right? Like that's what I was thinking. And you know, like if they're gonna kill that anyway, and like also like clear their battlefield and clear mine. Oh well, if this is uh, this is gonna be a lethal attack, it won't matter. But I probably could have kept my Z around. Eh, I, I like getting that three-two off the battlefield. Give them one less blocker. Did they plan around harrowing by having deny number three, or did they just waste their two denies? Waste the denies. Waste the denies. Come on, let's let's see this resolve. Let's go harrowing. What are your thoughts on replacing the spiders and Elise and Corvina with the Teemo package? What is the Teemo package? Like just Teemo and Puff Cap Peddler? I don't mind replacing the, the package. I'm not sure. Um, why does Soul Shepherd have to be last? <laughs> So Soul Shepherd's the last, so it doesn't give the plus one to all these things. All right, so one, two, three, four. All right, so actually, so Hecarim attacks for three. Okay, I guess it's not attacking. That's two things attacking. That's five things attacking. Attack with that too. All right, let's. They won't. Suffer long. Alright, looks good. Shadows cut deep as any weapon. No blocks, go to negative thirty-four. Plus three, plus three with the Hecarim. And they're gonna say No blocks, negative thirty-four. I mean, they have two mana. Like, what, what? I don't know what they're gonna do with two mana. What's up, Soaky Mints? We fought the deny fight over something that didn't matter. And heroin. Heroin's pretty sweet. Oh, and three clumpa wumps. Or the the chump wump. The four three. The four three is better than the two two. Hey, Lodgy. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. I could see doing that, though. Um, yeah, I could definitely see doing that. With three people. Okay, yeah, the, the Chump Wumps, not the Clumper Wumps. Their names are basically the same. Lodgy with that Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Lodgy. That's our third sub already of the day. A couple brand new Twitch Prime subs too. Thank y'all. Oh no, we're facing Hecarim. We got a Hecarim mirror. I don't know, Will of Ionia could be good. I guess I'm probably supposed to keep Hapless Aristocrat I'm attacking on turn one. Will of Ionia, you know, like bounce Hecarim is nice. That's like six turns in the future if they have a Hecarim. Let's just mulligan him. Uh, I don't know if they're playing Monkey Idol or not. I hope so. Monkey Idol is the region for Bilgewater? Well, there's probably other re reasons. And Orange Man. What's Orange Man? Oh, Citrus Courier? Orange Man? <laughs> I am the blade in the darkness. The blade in the darkness. I must get out of here. I have many faces. 
always bragging about your many faces. Why? Isn't that the worst thing to block? Ah, Marka D. I don't know. It's okay. Okay. The order. Fair enough. Zed was a two for one. Took out, you know, our three drop, took out their three drop, I and their one mana trick. But the good news, uh, bad news is this Maokai is going to be a lot more than a two for one, most likely. Ooh, okay, okay. Now we talking. Get out of here, Maokai. Maokai's gone. I don't lie. <laughs> what happens when you use unyielding on a monkey idol? It doesn't yield. <laughs> That is true. Yeah, it just it won't die. Protect our grove. It will continually take two damage every turn. <sighs> What's up, Harrowing? Apple's aristocrat just takes up takes up spots. I've liked the Soul Shepherd. Kind of wouldn't mind two hapless aristocrat, three Soul Shepherd instead of two Soul Shepherd, three hapless aristocrat. And my battlefield gets clogged up. This just eats up room, but. Um, you know, maybe it is good having like this, you know, this removal that's it's like hapless aristocrat that's good against aggro. Because our our late game's looking good with harrowing. I was gonna craft Freljord or Swain deck, but this one looks really promising. Well done, man. Oh thanks. This I mean I did not build this deck. This was a this was a donation deck um, that a viewer put together, Dr. Grindle, here in chat. But yeah, it's it's been playing really well so far. Leave nothing alive. Yeah, just... Get on in there, hapless aristocrat. You can do it. Get that damage in. Yeah, the, the latest balance patch is really nice. I, I really like everything they did with it. I think it's I think it was just a really well thought out um, balance patch and one that that's uh, gonna help the game for sure. Uh, probably about three about three months ago, Jetter. Yeah, I switched away from playing Magic and playing Legends of Runeterra now. So this is 12 damage coming across. No, 10. 7. Oh, right, because they gained 3. So 10 minus 3. Uh, yep, looks good to me. I want to cast Grasp the Undying on the Maokai. I want to do that. But I don't want to really risk them doing them responding with something. I kind of want them to act first. But this is, this does let them toss another two if they if they start by just playing some unit out like a Hecarim. They get two more toss. And they get that thing. 
but it makes my play a lot safer for killing this Maokai. Right now we've had a Zed die as far as Rekindler goes. Regular old Zed, not leveled up Zed. I could have Hecarim block their Hecarim. They attack. Does death follow me or peace? Everyone's a garden. That's quite annoying. Is quite annoying. This means I'm not playing Rekindler this turn. Still attacking with Hecarim? No, I just played the 6 6. So fast. I would I, I want them to attack just like this, that'd be good. The grow follows. Spider out of here. Clear some room. Three out of seven. Hmm. We're at three out of seven as as far as uh, Hecarim level up is concerned. Hopefully they didn't, they didn't take anything too good. Just pass. Silence. Death counts. Face death. Fight with the might of our people. All right, looks like our ephemeral mid-range deck is four and oh, let's go. Hecarim, being great. Rank it on up. All right, here we go. Five win dream. Can we get there? Can we get the five win dream with Hecarim? GG's, Stealth Ops. GG's. Stealth Ops. Not Stealth Ops. <laughs> uh, Twisted Fiora. 
Something a little different. That's a Twisted Fate deck I haven't played yet. Alright, ship him back. Possible I should have just kept one death mark, because it was likely we would find an ephemeral thing, and, and you know, like death marks a good combo with it. But they have smaller things, Fiora, Twisted Fate. The death mark's been really clutch for us for the, with the bigger things. No, mid range is not overpowered. No. Achilles, where are you? What's this deck? Uh, depression. Uh, Shen plus Lucian. I must get out of here. Well, this is our worst hand that we've had so far. Maybe, maybe not. Actually, we've had some bad hands. Maybe not. Strength in grace, beauty, beauty in, in the blade. blade. This isn't good. I think that's tough now. So now I can't really attack with Zed. That's not good at all. Yeah, I don't I don't think I win this. Looks like we got a 4-1. Still awesome record. Take that. Now the downside of Hapless Aristocrat, though, gives them two things to kill with Fiora. Like, if this just wasn't here, that would make my life better. Bot bot cool. They'll draw an ephemeral. Or like, yeah, they'll draw whatever fleeting card. Drawing a fleeting card. Let them eat souls. Try me. So thinking here that the Shadow Shift will do two damage to Fiora instead of just one. Put Fiora down to one toughness, then Fiora levels up, so Fiora goes back to two toughness. Sure. Don't look twice. But now, hopefully, Fiora won't be able to kill anything else, like, without, like, they'd have to use some kind of protection spell to keep it alive, because everything else that I'll play, like, I'm, so I won't replay Shadow Assassin, because Shadow Assassin would die to Fiora right away. Alright, 
win, you win. Do they? Does this thing shuffle the stats or not? I don't know. Like, it doesn't seem like it's shuffling stats. Like, having all that toughness. Oh, right, those things are two twos, not three twos. Right, those things are not three twos anymore. Ugh. Should not attack with Hecarim. <laughs> right, not three power. Basically, this whole time they've been three threes as we've been attacking because we've always had the two mana two three out. Like, we've always had Soul Shepherd in play, so these have just been three threes the whole time. And so I kind of had, kind of forgot that there are two twos there. So they've just been. Three threes for us this entire, you know, these entire four games. Every attack with Hecarim. Can't leave until you win. Back to your shepherd. Are these actually shuffling, shuffling stats? I guess they're doing a little bit. Seems like he's just pumping up. Tough. Alright, yeah, I didn't have any chance there. Fiora was GG. I mulliganed all those spells, and then, uh, which turned out to be a mistake, because, you know, we just drew all, all the, uh, you know, we drew all non-spells, which is, which is, you know, I wanted some non-spells, but I should have kept, should have kept a death mark, maybe even kept a glimpse beyond, but, yeah, I should have kept one of the two death marks in hand, because that would have been really nice to be able to take out Fiora. Um... Oh, okay, the stats that get shuffled are just the ones that you gain. It doesn't shuffle all of the stats. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Whistle, you know, as you can tell, I've never played Slotbot. I did not know that. Okay. So it its toughness is still going to, like, it's still going to be a very, or, like, the health. Like, it still has a lot of health. That, that doesn't change. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that card, that Slotbot card's good. It's going to be a good card now. But anyway, there we go. That was Ephemeral Midrange. This deck was really sweet. Uh, Hecarim was awesome. Rekindler, bringing it back. Ruination, or not Ruination, sorry. Harrowing, bringing everything back. Dawn and Dusk, the Hecarim. We stole a game with Dawn and Dusk Hecarim. That was cool. Love this top end. Um, and Soul Shepherd was awesome. I think this should definitely be a three of. Um, I'm fine with two shark chariots because yeah, there's a lot of times where it's not very good. There's there's some matchups where it's great. I like to I think the two is just fine. Hapless aristocrats kind of meh. I think I would. That's probably what I want to take out is go two hapless aristocrat for the third soul shepherd. Um, the scourge deathmark combo was great. It, it was honestly really really good for us. And uh, yeah, there we go. Like. I think, yeah, I, th I think I like just, like, these this interaction. It's not, like, there's times where these spells aren't amazing, but I think you do need, I think you do just need interaction. I think that's a uh, perfectly reasonable interaction to have. I could see maybe just playing one Withering Whale and then playing one um, Vengeance. I could see doing that, one vi Withering Whale, one Vengeance. Possibly. But um, I could also see playing one Twin Disciplines instead of one of the Denies. 
um, or or just like a you know or maybe a twin disciplines instead of a withering whale i could just see playing one or two twin disciplines as things that help protect zed and hikram and twin disciplines is just a really solid card i could see playing one or two of those for extra spells um but uh yeah there we go that's some ephemeral midrange <clears throat> yeah, Will Will definitely helped. Yeah, against that Swain deck. Yeah, it it saved the game, killing both those city breakers. It was great there against Swain. I I wouldn't want to get rid of Withering Will. I'm just saying I could see playing one instead of two. Um, yeah. All right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you thought of Hecarim. Let me know what you thought of or what you're thinking of the new format. What do you want to see played? All that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching some ephemeral midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.